Ladies, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Please be advised that this movie has no nudity. I'm out. Come on, Eddie. Let's go to the movies. Yeah. I just have to wee wee. And we're back. Just like the five musketeers. What the hell am I looking at? A country where culture means pornography and slasher films. If you had these boobs, you'd be obsessed with them too. Very exciting, big event. Everybody's excited, huh? We hope you'll make this a weekly visit. Bring the family. Bring your friends. We're Cinemanda's podcast. So let's get started. We are back. We're not back either. We're just here. We're back for a new episode. Oh, okay. You're fine. Anyways, if you see in your envelopes, you will see each one of you has a name, and I will read them out loud for you. Okay. To my right, I have a young lady who has supposedly a obsession with Henry Cavill. No, I don't. And this is a horrible introduction. Yeah, welcome back to the Allison Cin- 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 podcast. I am Adam. I'm here with Roman. Hello. Tr- Thank you for trying to start the show, but it didn't work out. I'm also here with Allison. It Mi- was Mrs. Peacock with the dildo in the library. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. And we are off to a running start oh, here. Oh boy! If you couldn't tell, we are doing the 1985 movie Clue, which is a murder mystery comedy. I hope that Christopher Lloyd will pick me up and take us to the Hill House. I'm surprised it wasn't 1982. The Hill House? What? 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 I'm, I'm not going to cover any 1982 movies. There's a whole documentary about that coming up. Mm. Yes. Uh, so, the movie Clue, 1985. The mm. first movie made after a board game. No, one's, no, one, no one thought it could be done. But did it get done? Sure did. It did. It did. Clue was directed by someone. Who was it directed by? It was directed by Jonathan Lynn. Uh, this was his first movie that he directed. Uh, he also directed My Cousin Vinny, uh, The Distinguished Gentleman, and the pilot for the Ferris Bueller TV series. That did not last. <clears throat> the movie stars, and I'm going to name all of them because there's only 14 people in yeah. this movie. It stars Tim Curry, Madeline Kahn, Christopher Lloyd, Michael McKeon, Martin Mull, Leslie Ann Warren, Colleen Camp, Eileen Brennan, Lee Ving from Streets of Fire, uh, Bill Henderson, who was in Fletch f- f- really quickly, uh, Jane Wyden, 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 from the Go-Go's. Weedlin. Weedlin, mm-hmm. yep. Mm-hmm. Jeffrey Kramer, uh, Kelly A. Nakahara, who was the cook, mm. and Howard Hessman. Rest in peace. And that was the cast. All right. Of Clue. Small, small so cast. we'll see you next time <laughs> on the Sid Demandus podcast. A uh, little, little short description about the movie. It, it's an adaptation of the board game. Uh, first released, the board game was released in 1949 in the UK under the name Cluedo. Hmm. Uh, don't ask me what it means. That's just what they called it. Uh, it went on, was released simultaneously in the United States as the movie Clue. Uh, the movie is a zany comedy, comedy consisting of roughly the same plot as the board game. Mr. Body is murdered in a room with seven, not six, suspects in the movie. And uh, it is a madcap rush to find out who did it. Yeah, they were missing some people from the board game. Well, bot Mr. B- there was never a Mr. Body. Yes, there was. Yes, there was. Not in the clue that I played. Yeah, Maybe the they backstory. redid the clue. Yes, but you couldn't be Mr. Body. No, 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 no. The, but yeah. the whole, the whole, the whole game. Like on the, if you look on the back of the game, it says who killed Mr. Body. Right. Yeah, that's. I'm sorry. That's what I meant. But you can never like be Mr. Body. You can never be no. Mr. Body. No. And um, there was no cook. There was no maid. Because I played Clue a lot. Sad. There was no maid. And then there was a. Clue Master Detective. I have that. I do too, which I played that a lot. It's and got the garden and... Yeah, it has a lot of extra things, extra weapons, extra people. Mm-hmm. It's good, but yeah. I Master Detective is, is awesome. Clue is a good game. Uh, let's go over the taglines. <clears throat> Tagline. I bet you they all have murder in them. There's only one that has murder oh, in it. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, first tagline, this movie makes a scene of the crime. Yeah. Okay. It's not just a game anymore. Mm. Mm. Murder, madness, mystery, and mayhem. 
more fun than you can imagine. That one's good. Okay. Seven suspects, six weapons, five bodies, and three endings. That's too much. Ah, Anna just told you how many endings there were. That's dumb. Well, we'll get into that, too, later. Yeah. Uh, Clue isn't just a board game anymore. It's a movie. That's lame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get our ch- yeah, chance so, for so Okay, for so now it's, now it's your tagline time. All right. Failed taglines. Go ahead, Allison. I have, I have to think of some. Okay. Clue. Get one. Oh, yeah. I was going to say something like, get a clue, you jerks. Yeah. <laughs> Clue. Nothing, nothing like, nothing like berating your audience. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Get I mean, a clue, you jerks. Clue. I know who did it. Do you? Mm. Clue. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, go no, no. Go. Clue. It was the audience in the theater with the popcorn. With the popcorn. Oh, that's a good. Okay. One. All right. One. That's meta. What did you it's have? So meta. Let's play a game. Clue. <laughs> Thank you, Cookie Monster. <laughs> no, no, that wasn't supposed to be Cookie Monster. Oh, let's play a game. Clue. Wait, first of all, that sounded That's Asian. Not... <laughs> that sounded like an Asian Cookie Monster. Uh, Mine was are we supposed doing breakfast? to. It was Fortune uh, Cookie Monster. Are we Mine doing was... breakfast at Tiffany's? What Mine the hell? was supposed to sound like stupid Jake, saw guy. Jigsaw. Jigsaw. Try, try it again. Wow. Good. That's, that's what you, you ready? think. You ready? I'd like to play a game. Clue. <laughs> Why is it so fast? Yeah. yeah. Clue. Now, I'd like to play a game. On that filter, when you do that voice, you sound like Hulk Hogan. <laughs> do it again. Oh. Okay. okay. I'd like to play a game. Clue. Go. <laughs> because you have to be fast. Like... I don't know why. He why turns off the lights. You have to be fast. <laughs> go. You have to figure out who did it. I'd like to play oh. a game. Go. Okay. Game over. There you go. There you go. I thought you said dough. Like, why would I say dough? Because Cluedo. Oh no, 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 no. Fail no. tagline. Clue. Let the games begin. Huh? Let the game begin. Yeah. Are you game? Yeah. Yeah. These basically these are all taglines that <laughs> that um, Blumhouse used for like Truth or Dare and all those <laughs> other in the Escape Room and all those other movies. They just copied. This. I'm I'm eagerly awaiting Blumhouse's Twister. Oh, they're remaking Twister? I think he's kidding. I am kidding. Thank and God. I was talking about the board game. The board game. The are party we going, game. Are we going to uh, talk about the uh, pre-production hell that the remake's uh, in? No, because there's not really a lot to talk about. Because it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's been in development hell since 2020. What is Clue? Yeah. Oh. Actually, since 2016. You know, here's the thing about that, and obviously we're not going to talk about it, but I feel like it oh, would just, well, real quick, I feel like it would just be a Knives Out. Like, I feel like you almost did that. Knives Out mm-hmm. is a kind of a version of a clue. Well, yeah, so is Murder by Death. So is, mm-hmm. you know, anything Agatha Christie. But Yeah, but that's old. Murder by Death yeah. is in a new movie that came out. I'm talking about the newest <clears> stuff. <throat> like, so I feel like maybe that might be one of the reasons why the the remake of Clue might be on hold because it's like, oh crap, somebody already beat us to that because they're yeah. going to make a whole series now about yeah. Knives Out, right? Yeah, it's a Netflix I don't know. thing. I mean, so I married an axe murder. There you go. But oh, it's not It's not a, It's not not a. an ensemble murder mystery. Yeah. That murder on the Orient Express and that oh, other one, Nile, so murder on the Nile and stuff. So mm-hmm. maybe that's death why Death on the Clue, Nile was so death, damn death good. On the Nile. Maybe that's uh, why Clue is kind of like put on pause. You can take me to an Egyptian ruin anytime. <laughs> Huh. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the movie Clue. Uh, this was produced by Deborah Hill. Mm. Now, if you don't know who Deborah Hill is, then you don't know Haddonfield because Deborah Hill basically helped uh, John Carpenter create Halloween. Mm. Uh, she was his producer for as long as she was alive. Sadly, she had passed away. But uh, yeah, this was a Deborah Hill production, which is kind of weird because it's not a horror movie or anything to do with John Carpenter. You know, if the uh, horror, if uh, the Halloween horror movie didn't get built, she should have hired a new Carpenter. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. And that's why we don't do these episodes that often. What? I don't know. I was trying to make Roman feel bad. It doesn't work, though. Oh. I'll, I'll uh, write a script and have you not read it. Oh. <laughs> just, just saying. If it's, if it's about Bethel, I'll read it. I'll change every character's name to Bethel. Bethel turns to Bethel. Bethel Jr. Bethel the Third. Of course. 
Bethel C, Bethel G. So continue. So we talked about the uh, taglines. What else? Uh, well, just a quick synopsis of the movie. We can, we can, uh, what's, is it a quick synopsis of the movie? No, this is the full synopsis of the movie. Oh, I wrote this under no sleep. Well, we can kind of guess what the synopsis of the movie is. Oh, yeah, I already talked about the synopsis, so, but let's go through the movie, shall we? Seven Strangers. It begins in 1954, Massachusetts. With Wadsworth, played by Tim Curry, driving up to the mansion during a storm. And before going inside, he throws a huge piece of meat to two big dogs tied up outside. And I only mention this because when I was a kid, those two dogs scared me more than Cujo did. I don't know why. It was like dogs in the rain. It was just really... Two medicated German shepherds? (laughs) It was the it was when Mr. Body tries to escape and they jump out at yes. the conservatory. That scared the well, shit out of me. That's not a German Shepherd. That's uh, a Doverman Pincher. Oh. It was a different dog. Yeah. Wow. Adam was just afraid of all dogs in the rain. Dogs in the rain. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be the name of my new uh, my new ambient album. <laughs> dogs in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> Bark. That's so sad. <laughs> So, I don't I don't know why it, I don't know why the, the the dogs bothered me. I guess it was because it was um, these these scary dogs in a comedy movie. I don't know. Uh, but as the guests arrive, hey Bob, what do you want to do with the uh, dogs from Cujo? <laughs> uh, with Cujo? Well, what do you mean Bethel over there? Yep. <laughs> what do you want to do with her? Uh, put her on the set of Clue. We could use some scary dogs <laughs> scary to really dogs. give a uh, four year old some issues when he watches. <laughs> sure, no problem. Uh, funny thing, as the guest arrives, the colors of each character's car matches th- their name. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, even Miss Scarlet's, when she, she was, her car is broken. It was a red car. I thought that was cool because their the women's the women's clothing was the was the um, opposite, opposite complete opposite yeah. of their of their thing. <clears throat> Stepping inside the main hallway, we get our first running gag, and that is the stinky shoes. Everyone who walks in thinks they stepped in something. <laughs> um, everyone that that shows coming through the door, like there are time yeah. when, later on, people just showed up and they didn't do the the gag. It, it kind of stopped. But uh, it, Wadsworth did it. Um, uh, Yvette did it. Mister uh, uh, Colonel Mustard and uh, Miss White. Mm-hmm. Mrs. White. Mrs. Mrs. White. Mrs. White. Miss White. Well, she's she's a widow. So. Um. The guests, in order, greeted by Wadsworth, the butler, re- each receive a pseudonym. Colonel Mustard, Mrs. White, Mrs. P- Miss Peacock, Mrs. Peacock, Mr. Green, Professor Plum, and Miss Scarlet. These six strangers discover they are all from Washington, D.C., um, the epicenter of the crazy McCarthy communism hoopla that's going, that's going on in the 50s, which, is kind of, which you find out at the end that communism is a red herring. Mm, three times. Yes, three times. As they're slurping their soup. Yes, their shark fin scoop soup, or scoop. Their shark and fin soup. monkey brains mm. is not very popular in Washington D.C. <laughs> Stop trying to do a Tim Curry. What? This is my normal voice. It was Mrs. White, and I don't forget who the other one was. They were both slurping, completely different. And if they had added one more person, you would have had like Plum. Professor Plum. Yeah. yeah, you would have had like a song. <laughs> They should have done that. Spoon man. It was, it was just a missed opportunity. Just then. the way I was like, and then she was like, she was like really dainty about it. She was, like, and then you had should have had somebody else do another one, and then it could have just gone back and forth. Speaking of the dinner scene, uh, mm-hmm. Professor Plum, we find out that he works for the World Health Organization and a part who? of. Yes, you know who? who? No, who? who? You know who? No. The United Nations Organization. Professor Blum, that's who. Okay, who's that? Who? You know. Okay, oh. the head, that's enough. <laughs> 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 enough of that. Our Abbott and Costello moment. Yeah. Ah. Anyways. You know who's on first. <laughs> All I know is after a couple of martinis, I know who's going to be on third. hi yo. <laughs> Miss Scarlet. It's going to be <laughs> me, isn't it? Oh, yes. Oh, no. All right. I want you to show me your favorite scene from Vanilla Sky. Vanilla. Vanilla. Yeah. Well, he has been drinking. Water. (laughs) (laughs) He's aqua drunk. Of course. 
As dinner goes on, the seventh <laughs> guest arrived, Mr. Body, who Wadsworth reveals has been blackmailing the others. Uh, Mrs. Peacock is accused of taking bribes for her husband, a U.S. senator, but denies any wrongdoings and claims that she has paid the blackmail to keep the act keep the scandal quiet. Uh, Mrs. White is suspected in the death of her husband, <laughs> who is a nuclear physicist. She denies guilt and states that she does not want allegations made public. She went to the movies when he was dead. His head had been cut off, and so it is. You know. Uh, let's all cross our legs awkwardly. Uh, in, the, in the novelization, she admits that she went and saw From Here to Eternity. Not a, doesn't mean anything. It's just a fact. Oh, oh. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, interesting stuff. Professor Plum has lost his medical license due to an affair with a patient. Miss Scarlet runs an underground brothel in Washington D.C. Can, uh, can I get the uh, phone number, please? <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> oh yeah, what's the fellow phone number? Uh, <laughs> Colonel Mustard. Though initially suspected of being one of Miss Scarlet's clients, is actually a war profiteer who sold plane parts on the black market, resulting in several deaths. And Mr. Green is a homosexual. In the 50s, that was a bad thing. Mm -hmm. uh, especially if you're working for the State Department. Not in the bathhouses. hi yo. <laughs> hey -o! <laughs> this scene re really shows the comedic range of everyone in the cast. Uh, especially uh, Leslie Ann Warren's Miss Scarlet, um, with her being a sly, s sassy, confident uh, character. Her dry responses and occasional confusion uh, can't keep me from laughing every time in this movie. It's just that she, especially the, the he threatened in public to kill me. Why do you want to kill you in public? Yeah. <laughs> It's just one of my favorite lines. She's funny, and, and Mrs. White is funny to me because she's just so. Well, blank. Madeline Kahn is just oh, well, Mrs. Peacock is great, yeah. but but she's the only one to me. So the by this time the game has already come out. Is, is it the same Clue game that I grew up playing in the late eighties, early nineties with the same people? Yeah, yes. Then they don't match, and that's what bothers me. They don't match the cards, except for Miss Cute Little Mrs. Peacock. It just it just irks me. That's all. Like, well, I was they were trying to make it their own. I know, it just mm -hmm. bothers me. If you want to make, like, Mrs. White is not, Miss Scarlet should have been Mrs. White. I almost feel that the poor writer of Clue had probably pulled a similar situation to uh, uh, the movie adaptation. It's like, they want me to write a story about a board game. You know There's who wrote no Clue, story. right? Yes. It was John Landis. No, 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 I thought it was somebody else. They, they were trying to find different writers. They had three writers. They finished the script, and it was not up to snuff, so the studio gave it to John Landis. That makes sense. Oh. He didn't get a credit. Oh, I, that's why, why I'm, <laughs> I'm uh, throwing it off. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So, yeah, it, was, it had a lot of trouble being written, uh, so well, that's probably where Allison's issues come from. I or just, stem I just from. see Mrs. White, and I'm like, you're not Mrs. White to me. That's all. <laughs> not my Mrs. White. No, you're, you're not old. Hashtag. You're you're like you know. Do do you hate her so much that that flames flames, flames no not at all. Your face. And then I get confused because of Master Detective, <laughs> mm. because then I want Madame Rose and Sergeant Gray and Mrs. Peach and I got all these extra people <laughs> that they want I want to put in there because those are also my clue characters. Well, but Master so, Detective came out a lot later. I understand that, but so we need making an adaptation or a um, sequel. Yeah. yeah, Madame Rose made her look like she was Madame Ruby from Pee Wee's Big Adventure, but a sexier version. Which celebrated its anniversary yesterday. Mm. Cool. Yeah. I yeah, think we should all go me. to the basement of the Alamo. There's I've been no there. basement in the Alamo. I've been to the basement of the Alamo. You I had to dig. <laughs> There's no bike there. There's no basement. A lot of, a lot of yeah. sand. Yeah. Oh, and okay. when you got done with, with that hole, you... Uh, you saw some people, you know, in a blue and uh, white car with uh, red and blue lights because you were defacing a historic monument. And we then he's like, and then he goes, the law, <laughs> the law. I could quote that entire movie. It's Welcome back times. to Pee Wee's Big, Big Adventure episode of Cinematic Podcast. Time. It was a surprise, like like a murder mystery. Oh, way to bring law. it back. So 
Uh, yeah, and um, yeah, uh, Leslie Ann Warren's character was great, but uh, to me, I think the standout the standout uh, person in this whole movie was Martin Mull. Uh, his reactions, his 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 everything was just it was it was he was just it was just comedic perfection uh, as Colonel Mustard. Okay, okay. Um, he just has all my favorite lines and all my favorite reactions, and I don't know. I just really liked Martin Mull and the, this this viewing of it uh, going back. I haven't watched it in a couple in a couple while, a cup of while, which is which is not the longest of times, but it's the best of times. And this was sponsored by a cup of while. A cup of a noodles. Cup of, while. <laughs> cup of while. It's a wild cup. You don't have a cup of noodles, have a cup of while. <laughs> of course. How long will it take? A while. It's nice and green. A cup of while. Mm. Oh, I like I liked Martin, but the standout to me is always gonna be Tim. But they're good together. Yeah, the the scene where they're arguing on whether there's a body in the house, yes. that's one yes. of my favorite yeah. things. Yeah, I mean it's great. He's like, you know, are, is there anybody else in this house? No. Yes. Which one is, is it? No or yes? Yes. No. But well, I, his I just, question was so vague. Yeah. He's like, is there? Is there or is there not a body in the house? Right. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. There's seven of them. Carrying the eight. And then Madeline Kahn gets on and just right. like, we got to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. The the cast works so well together. Um, and and. Tim Curry, this is my favorite Tim Curry role. And it's actually his favorite uh, role yeah. as well. Which I was yeah. just, just about to say. I Thank could, you. I could see that. So mean. You guys are so mean to each other. I could totally see that. That that would be his favorite. I'm not mean. And I'm not I feel, the things I'm thinking. And I feel that if they did remake this, it, it would be good to have um, all of, what's his name, Christopher Guest people doing this. Yes. Including Michael McKeon. Mm-hmm. Well, you don't have to bring him back, but you can. <laughs> you can if you want yeah. to. Yeah. In fact, um, watching this movie is what made me want to do the the other episode that I had in mind because I thought all these movie all thought this was an improvised uh, cast, but it's not. It's fully scripted. They, you don't think they added anything? Well, no. I mean, they probably did. Yeah, they probably took Tim fun, and Martin fun takes and stuff. And Martin. Michael McKeon. Can we just say Martin? <laughs> no, no fans of Martin. No, I hated Martin. I mean, we still watched it, though, right? Like, you still know of it. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no shenanigans. I, 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 I liked Martin. Ma- I thought it was very funny. No, it's not Martin. It's Martin. <laughs> I really liked Martin. I thought it was uh, very funny. Um, uh, it, ha- it, he- it it won Ernest Borg- Borgnine his first Oscar. Morton? Martin? 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 Oh, it yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Movie in the I 40s. But it, pss, I, I, I get it. Okay. I, okay. I get right. it. Sorry to derail us. <clears throat> so going back to the story. We were at the dinner scene. Oh, we were at the dinner scene. Yeah. yeah I skipped we were all at the dinner things. scene and we were enjoying it. You skipped what happens. Wadsworth tells them that the police have been notified and they have approximately 45 minutes before they arrive, which happens in real time. Every time the bell rings and someone says, the police will be here in 30 minutes, that is, that, that's, the, that's the real time mark. Huh. At, at the forty-five minute mark after the after this has been revealed, that's when Howard Hessman rings the doorbell. Wait a minute, did you skip the part where he's dead? I'm not there yet. Oh, okay. So why is the police called already? Oh, because the blackmail. Blackmail. Yeah. Uh, wh- while threatening to expose the guests, <laughs> <it> <laughs> and you don't want us to go around exposing, exposing ourselves. ourselves. Oh my god. Oh man, we'll never get to part two. Part two of what? Why? Ghostbusters. Why? The greatest one ever. I know, but I can't get Dave to commit. Are you keeping this in? No. Oh, okay. Maybe I will. Game well, Dave. Oh, stop it. While threatening to expose the guests, uh, if he is arrested, Mr. Body... <laughs> <laughs> That's how we got a subject. <laughs> I'm going to do it again. <laughs> Children. I work with children. <laughs> While threatening to expose the guests, if he is arrested, Mr. Body gives them each a weapon. Ooh. A candlestick, a knife, a quote unquote lead pipe, a revolver, and a rope. And a wrench. And a wrench. The wrench was rusty and old as hell. Yep. 
and and Colonel Mustard loved holding yep. it. And the lead pipe was not actually made of lead because if 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 you notice the lead pipe in the game was bent mm-hmm. from being hit. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you do that with actual lead, it would just like fall apart because mm. lead is so malleable. Mm. Um, also, they didn't want it to be bent because it would look like it was used on someone already. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm actually surprised Colonel Mustard didn't use the um, wrench actually on Professor Plum because he looks like he went in to bust a nut. <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about the... <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk about the weapons for a second? Let's talk about okay. the weapons. So... Obviously, Especially the candlestick. You could never. I mean, the, when you played the game, it's not like you were able to like pick a weapon, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah. that would always be cool or whatever. But they they had the weapons in the game, and you could like touch them and play with them. Da da da. And I always like looking at the lead pipe because first of all, I was like, "What the hell is a lead pipe? Never seen a lead pipe like that before." Whatever. And I thought it was cool that it was bent. Obviously, now I know that it was bent because it was used. But out of all of those, the lamest one is what. The freaking the rope. rope, right? Yeah. Come on. You have to you have to actively like in the movie, you have yeah, to actively you have to hang someone. You have to do something. It's not something easy. Like you you have to put it over their neck and you have to I, strangle I, them. I, I Here, let it. me see how this fits on you. Wait, no, what? no, you, you don't have my permit. What uh, what are you doing? Right. Like, no. Here, uh, just 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 oh, hold still for a second. No, no, it's, I'm gonna okay. it's gonna get tighter. Okay, it's gonna get tighter. It's gonna get tighter. It's okay. It, it's a little bit too tight. No, that's just a little bit more. Nope. A little bit more. Oh boy, I'm seeing Bethel. Is it is it is it good? Can you? <laughs> What's the safe word? <laughs> I want to be the star in Kill Bill, too. Oh wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. And scene. Good night, everybody. Oh, man. <laughs> That's not good. I know you guys can't see what happened, but we actually mimed out the whole thing when we uh, didn't have to. Oh, boy. No, yeah. no, no, we, just you two. But yes, we, as in me and Roman. Oh, it's just yeah. not me. Uh, trust me, it's not the first time I'm hung, ladies. But, oh, God. <laughs> oh, we got Tommy Lee up in here. Oh, boy. I'm. Oh, oh Tommy is... Lee, Tommy Lee. You saw that, right? Oh. No, unfortunately, I didn't get to see it. It was no. on, it was on the news, but I didn't get to see the picture. Captain uh. Tripod. I, I've seen it before, but I wondered how it's aged since he's like in his fifties. <laughs> like did a, it still like look a good? Fine wine. Did it still look decent? Was he? Was he? Did he have gray hair? What's kind of what's happening? Have now? you ever seen a newspaper after the rain? <laughs> 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 I mean. He's got to show it, right? He's nothing. He's not doing anything constructive right now, but no, touring. So no. he's got that. He's got that movie, uh, <sighs> the other movie. Oh, okay. The he's, one on Hulu. Oh yeah, I stopped well, watching no, that after the third episode when where it started the talking. Penis started talking. Yeah. I said nope. Um, going back to the rope. <laughs> yeah. So that's, <laughs> that's a perfect example. Meanwhile. It took you 10 minutes to strangle him and everybody in the entire room just heard you and heard him be like, why is there a rope around my neck? Please, I'm badly burnt here. (laughs) There's a rope over my neck. He's slowly tying (laughs) it. Help. I'm starting to black out. He's telling me stop talking. But Yvette died immediately Uh. when she got roped. Who was played by Colleen Camp, which I didn't realize until I, um, a couple years ago, I went through all of the Police Academy movies because I'm that sad. Uh, that is uh, Tackleberry's wife in the movie. Huh. She didn't, she doesn't look that way. She doesn't, you know. Anyway. She doesn't look like the, um, the feather duster from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> That's right. Mm. Uh, I said that knowing what that was. Um, um on the I've out- never seen Beauty and the Beast, oh, that's and right. I only know no. the the candle guy and the pot. Oh, okay, so one of the the feather dusters, like a, she mm-hmm. was dressed up like a maid, yeah, and she had a French voice, French um, maybe French. Uh, what do you call that when you have a accent? Broke. She had a French. Stop it! <laughs> she had a French accent, and uh, so she just reminded me of her. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, well, it was a very fake French accent. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> Colleen Camp's accent. Yeah, I loved the. Sorry, can Go I ahead. talk yeah. about the scene? Okay, yeah. so when she was yelling, I might be fast forwarding though. When she was screaming, when in the she ballroom, was screaming, and they're or like in the billiard room. Yeah, and they're like, "Who is this screaming?" And they they come in and they're like, "Why are you screaming?" And she was like, "I was all alone and I was scared and it was in the dark." I was like, "Man, she's horrible." And, and I too had the cognac. Yeah, oh, and dear. I too had the cognac. Yeah, she's she wasn't. I mean, she was perfect for the role, but I was like, she's kind of. Colleen lame. Camp was a well, was. She, I just she. I haven't seen anything recently, but she's a good actress. So she's fun. She was funny in the the three Police Academy movies that mm-hmm. she was in. So in the outline, are you also going over the uh, people that were wanted to play the uh, maid besides Colleen Camp? I think so. If not, we'll get to you. Hey, <laughs> I think that's in the the Easter eggs. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I will sit here and awkwardly make ideas. There's make one. ideas. <laughs> There's an idea. I want to make ideas. <laughs> I, would make... I want to make one. Oh, I got another job. idea. <laughs> I want to make job. Uh, I am job. I immediately want oh, to make third adventure. Idea. I got a third idea. And he doesn't even say anything about make. He just talks about, you give us little butterball. We give you a whole lot of wampum. I don't know why I went to that, but I did. What about my couscous? <laughs> uh, oh, I, I, I sense Allison's next episode. I would never make you guys watch I that. love that movie. Yeah, I know. Wait, which which The film? Chipmunk Adventure. Oh, oh, oh. I had the soundtrack on oh, tape. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'd rather watch Bonnaroo again. <laughs> What's Bonnaroo? Uh, the the, the, the entire uh, music festival in Tennessee? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds horrible. Roman, are you high? <laughs> no. What's Bonnaroo? No. Xanadu? No, I'm not high. I'm six foot two. I'm moderately sized. I want to know what you meant by Bonnaroo. Oh, he means Buckaroo Buck- Bonsai. Yeah, it's it's right there. Bonnaroo. Bonnaroo Bonsai. Xanadu. Bonnaroo Buckseye. Oh. Can we have a moment of silence on our way to our first break? For the star of Xanadu. Oh, and my yeah. favorite movie of all time. Yeah, Greece. Yes. We yeah. lost our beloved Sandy. The wait, other wait, wait. Day. That's your favorite movie of all time? It's pretty it's pretty up there. Why haven't we covered that? I don't know, because you seem to think Grease 2 is my favorite movie of all time. It is a great film. Underrated episode. Yeah, you two are gonna be my, my Grease 2 people in the in the documentary. <gasps> no, 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 no. No, no, you two. It's it's just Roman. It's just Roman. If you want me on the documentary with grumpy looking face and I'll be like, Grease 2 sucked. <laughs> then that's then I'm your girl. But seriously. Olivia Newton-John passed away, and I was very, very sad. Let's take a break and go to the concession stand for a snack. No. Now, when we fought, you had that eye of the tiger, man, the edge. Hey, everybody. My name is Adam, and I am part of the Sydney Madness podcast. I'm here to tell you about some exciting news. We're making a movie. As I've mentioned on the show numerous times, I am obsessed with the films of 1982, and I want to share my love of those years with all of you. So we are taking a deep dive into 75 movies, all from 1982, to show that this was an important year, or maybe the most important year, in pop culture cinema. Movies like Blade Runner, The Thing, E.T., Poltergeist, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, and many, many more. Interviewing cast and crew from these movies, as well as fans and also film experts. We are currently crowdfunding for equipment and logistics while in development. And when we are ready for pre-production, we will get all of you involved too. That means names in the credits, special goodies, perhaps posters and art. So, if you are as excited about this as we are, and really, why shouldn't you be? Check out our campaign at sydnamandaspodcast.com slash 1982themovie. We are also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at 1982themovie. So come along with us and let's celebrate cinema. Okay. We can keep going with Clue. <laughs> Thanks for your permission. <laughs> Where were we? The weapons. Oh. We were talking about how stupid the rope was. Yeah, stupid. <laughs> when they got the weapons, uh, Mr. Body then talks about how they should kill Wadsworth. 
because he has the key to the front door. Ooh. That would only be open over his dead body. Imagine the butler the having the key to the, the key. front door. Hey, what was the guy's name on um, DuckTales? The butler for DuckTales. Wasn't it something like Wigglesworth or Wadsworth? Or... I, think it, I think it was Wadsworth. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. Because every time I see Wadsworth, I'm like, I just think of Scrooge McDuck. Bless me, bagpipes. <laughs> so, yeah. I just watched the whole video on the history of Darkwing Duck. Oh. And dark wing, dark wing, and uh, the guy who the guy who created it uh-huh. uh, still says to this day it is not a spinoff of Ducktales. I that, fully believe yeah, that that mm-hmm. that Saint Canard and and Duckburg are two different places, mm-hmm. and th- they said it's not connected because of the way Launchpad is. In Ducktales, Launchpad was this doofy, can't mm-hmm. fly anything, right. and in uh, in Darkwing, he was a he was a cherished pilot, right. If I may please have your attention, I have some startling news. The butler in DuckTales is named Duckworth. Oh, yeah, Oh, yeah, Duckworth. Wow. And he wasn't a duck. No, he He wasn't. He wasn't. He was a dog, wasn't he? He he was. Let me see his face again. Yeah. He looks like Goofy. He looks like one of the Beagle Boys. Yes. He looks like one of the Beagle Boys. The Beagle Boys, yeah. Shame on me for not knowing that. Mm-hmm. You know, and you know how. Have you watched the new one? It's so good. I watched it when it first came out, season one with David Tennant, and it was pretty good. It's done. The, but yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. The um, animation was a little bit off for me. Yeah, it's um, a little flash animation, mm-hmm. like which I'm not a big fan cheap. of. I don't. Yeah. I don't like that new animation style that they're doing. But it was funny. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, David it's, Tennant. Come on. Yeah. Sorry to derail it's, uh, it. Too Afghanistan is Afghanistan animation. <laughs> it's Afghanistan animation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the Lords of the Taliban. <laughs> what is it? Johnny Chimpo. Yeah. They, they do Chimpo. like gold. They I like do. gold. They so do. the Dutch. Gold. The Dutch like gold? I like gold. Oh, what is boy. that from? Gold member. Gold member. John Travolta's best You guys best know role. I'm not a big fan of Austin Powers movies. Neither is this guy. Yeah, it's, it's not that God, funny. God, they're so fucking funny. Well, the first one is, the second one is not, and it just is like you're getting a Xerox after a Xerox after a Xerox. Oh, Roman, you'll be happy to know that I've finally finished the James Bond movie script. Oh, okay, cool. Yes. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Sorry, I, I, I was, yeah, I was I was hearing something in my head that would never happen. Uh, so please, go ahead. Never gonna get it. Never gonna get it. What I was just telling you, because we can talk later, because I really enjoyed them. Okay. Even after Sky fail. Hmm. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Did you know that there's actually more Godzilla films than there are James Bond I movies? do know that yes. now. Yes, because I told you. And <laughs> there is not one bad Godzilla film. Uh, well, okay, the, the Matthew Broderick. Uh, good soundtrack, though. Oh, yeah, the song that, that P. Diddy stole. Yeah. Where he's at, he's still getting money, or uh, 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 Robert Plant still getting money for that. Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, the dun 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 dun. Yeah, the Come cashmere. Come with me, cashmere. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. I want to bite you, flip and bite you. Don't have, don't some like it. Some like of their it. songs are good. Come with Sorry, me. Sorry, I don't know why we're. Their music is fantastic. Yeah, sometimes they're good. What Zeppelin? It's or Robert Plant's talking? voice. Yeah, it's the that... voice that I don't like. Yeah, yeah but some of the songs what? are kind of good. You don't like a guy who's ripping off. Of... I'm not buying a stairway. Who who's ripping off a uh, traditional uh, awesome black blues singers? Yeah, they should have stayed that way. Black yeah. and blues. <sighs> like I like my steaks. Like the burgers, black and blue burgers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Welcome to, to I feel uh, bad ADHD the... Cinemadness <laughs> Edition. I feel bad for the editor of this. Like, <laughs> seriously. If he has sleep apnea before... Oh, I don't have sleep there's, apnea. There's nothing wrong with going off on different things. Otherwise, it would be boring. Why do you think I always... Hey, but anyways, you want to see some colors? Ooh, something pretty. Want to see some COVID? Is that what you said? Colors. Oh, no, colors. Yeah, that's why I keep them changing in this room. Oh, there you go. Like, anyways... <laughs> We're a podcast for squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not uh, ever going to make it to 500. Did anybody no. die yet in the movie? <laughs> no. Okay, well, let's get nope. there. No, I'm we talking at? about how Mr. Body said that they should all kill Wadsworth. Yes, and that's where someone came up with Duckworth. So or... this is all my fault. That <laughs> this I time, yes. Yeah. Okay, right. This how... and the last one when we talk about the rope. 
don't worry. We have a support group for. You want me uh, to finish what I was trying to do? Because you're going to get mad at me if I. No, do it. Exactly. I don't want you to break my microphones. You already broke my headphones once. Wait, is that a method for? I something? paid for the headphones too. <laughs> Wow, when she gets angry, she goes full Cookie Monster. It's great. <laughs> I pay for the <laughs> headphones, too. <laughs> so, Mr. Body turns mm. off the lights. Body, yaddy, 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 there's, yaddy, yaddy. There's, <laughs> there's a... Sorry. There's a thump. There's a scream. There's a... <gasps> that was the guy with the rope. <laughs> and then there's the gunshot. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> they, uh, turn the, they turn the lights on, and Mr. Body is lying on the ground supposedly dead body yaddy 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 all i gotta say is that girl was not so tough 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 until you turn off the lights turn off the lights i mean i'm just gonna do that for the two or three fans hip-hop fans of our podcast that know what that song is wow so professor plum Mm. being the only doctor there needs to examine mr body Mm. and (laughs) he was thrown off by his lack of vagina that's right 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 yeah he didn't really want to touch a man. <laughs> I don't do the man. I don't do, do the, the males. males. I used, used to, to be, be one. one. <laughs> hmm. And they did notice that the gun did go off, aside from the thing, uh, the actual sound, and they found the bullet hole and all in that. In the vase. Mm. In the wall. I thought it was in the vase. Mm-mm. The vase wall? What's a vase wall? It hits the vase and goes into the wall? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing got broken. I swear they said vase. Okay. No, no, maybe vase. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so funny if that actually happened too, but it did not. There was no vase or vase, Dang. or or any type of flower receptacle. Okay, all right. No. Uh, the guests investigate Mr. Body. Uh, okay. Wadsworth explains that the guests that his wife had committed suicide during Mr. Body's blackmail because she refused to name friends who were <sighs> socialists. Yeah. Forcing him to become Body's Butler. Body's Butler. It's fun to do. Body's Butler. Body's Butler. Bodsworth. Body's Busy Butler. Braised Beef is brilliant. Okay. That was brilliant. Brought to you by Alliteration, the podcast. Alliteration, the podcast. Um, where we Murder, do. mayhem, and. No. Misery. <coughs> Loves company. And men. <laughs> <laughs> and my. And. <laughs> and Martin, I love that show. Uh, Wadsworth damn, has Gina, damn. summoned it. the guests to force a confession after uh, out of Mr. Body and turn him over to the police. Um, but that didn't happen because Mr. Body is dead now. Mm-hmm. Quote, unquote, dead. Uh, they hear a scream. They find Yvette screaming uh, in, the, in the billiard room uh, while listening to the conversation that's being audio taped. Mm. Not videotaped, because this was the 50s. Now, the scream wasn't even Yvette's voice. It was a reuse of Leslie Ann Warren's scream when they find the cook. Huh. Uh, which also happens twice. When the, when they're doing the reenacting, and he comes, out of the, he comes out of the fridge, they show that exact scene of her screaming again. Oh, that's funny. That was a good scream. It yeah. was. It was a good scream. It must mean you're hitting your points right. Yes. <laughs> that's right. Mm. Babette, Babette couldn't scream very well. I'm going to call or, her Babette. Or Yvette. Yeah. But French. Babette. Babette. She's a French maid. Oof. Babette and Babette. She's, she's not a yeah, French Yeah, yeah. If her name was Babette, uh, that that would explain why uh, certain things were, you know, off the top. No, not Babette. Babette. Yeah, that was my 14th guess. Like from Rain Man. Oh, yeah, definitely. Was that what that lady's name was? Is Babette? Charlie Babbitt. Oh, mm. Babbitt. Wow. Definitely. Definitely Babbitt. Definitely yeah, Babbitt. Charlie Babbitt. Yep, yep. Uh, so they go and uh, they check on the cook, who is dead, mm-hmm. stabbed in the back with a knife. Dun, 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 dun. And then when they return with the cook's body, Mr. Body's body is gone. Body, body, body. <laughs> it's a, it's a bloody mess with the body. Uh, but the guests find his bleeding body in the bathroom. Wait, are you saying they found nobody and then they found the body? There's nobody. Huh. Okay. And that I, was the scene. Did anybody find a body? When they, oh, when I they, when they find they, a big body. When they walked in, they're like, they they dropped the cook because Mr. Body was gone. They're like, what happened? He's like, who's there? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> There's nobody. no body. Nobody. 
Which was a that was another recurring joke. Was saying a bodies. Korean joke reoccurring. Mm, it sounded like you said Korean. There's another Korean joke about bodies. I don't know why it's Korean, but it's there. Well, the chef was Asian, right? Yes. Why did you yes. get hillbilly at I don't that know. part? Okay. <clears throat> well, we do why, live but in it's Florida, there. Folks. <laughs> oh, maybe we maybe we're better off for not doing the original plan for tonight. Well, seeing that we both got the uh, plan beforehand, we are trying our best to stick to it. This is hysterical. (laughs) Okay. This is why on football you don't go, hey, guys, the play, break. Wait, what's the play? The point was for you guys to watch the movie. I did watch the movie. And then... Give me, give me your 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 brains when we talk. <laughs> I did, but you're going over the thing, and, and I'm talking. I'm, when I talk about it, I jump in. Yes, you're yeah. doing a great job. Wait a second. Oh, so bitch. <laughs> oh, I looked up Duckworth. <laughs> Come on, guys, I'm pulling my weight. Anyways, please continue. I kid, I kid. I kid. Yes, they find Mister Body's body in the bathroom. Hit on the head with the candlestick, which was above the bathroom door. That when Wadsworth starts shouting, it falls on his head and doesn't kill him. No. Whose weapon was that? That was Miss... That was Miss Scarlet's. That's right. It's not really anyone's weapon. It's just what they started out with. Right. See, so we have a candlestick and we have the French maid. So it was, you know, like Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> So, so you're saying Clue is just essentially Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> no. Well, what you're saying is, is uh, Taylor is old this time, right? Yeah. That's one of my favorite Disney movies. What? Because of Gaston. Because <laughs> he's funny. All right. It's so. true, LeFou. <laughs> so uh, they decide to lock all the weapons in the cupboard and throw away the key. That's smart. So when they go to th- throw the key out the front door, they are confronted by the motorist. Motorist. Waiting for the phone. Waiting for the key. Because he, because the key. They should have hit him with the key. <laughs> that would have been funny. Why are you randomly throwing keys at me? I I don't understand. Oh. My car broke. Hey man, oh. it goes right in his eye, and then he's dead. And they're like, oh uh-huh. crap. Uh, and that's what you don't know is one of the people that were actually there for the party was Jigsaw. He saw the key in the eye. Goes there. You go. That's a really good idea. Yep. Yes, I like it. Just John Kramer in the corner, not even, <laughs> yeah. not even acknowledging being there. And then the little the little puppet come. You hear the squeak, 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 and he just like rolls through. <laughs> and he's like, "I'm on my way to the trophy room." Was the tro- trophy room wasn't even in the original clue? Nope. Was it? It was in. Man, I just give my master you detective. Love master detective. I do. My God, carriage house. Was- disappointed so much that master detective. Wasn't I just played sequel. master detective more in my youth. And I still have it. And so I, four years ago. <laughs> oh, that's nice. I have briefly most be nice. Enjoy uh, what you can. Four years? I don't get it. He's saying that I was youthful four years ago. Oh, that's not yeah. very nice. No. <laughs> no. What if I call you pretty? Is that pretty nice? That is very nice. Thank you. But I'm Thank not. You. No, you're not. But anyways, <laughs> it would be nice if I did. <laughs> it's just a lie. Uh, no, a lie. A, it's lie. a pretty lie. Like my like, life, like Pretty Little Liars. Mm. No, a Pretty Liars, which, has a, which has a remake out now. <gasps> yeah. on on HBO. Does it? What? <laughs> and you're listening to Channel Chasers. I'm listening. I, I thought, thought you like. I thought you like Big Little Lies. I love. I watched Pretty Little Liars. Oh yeah, yeah. There's a. It's it's a remake, a reboot. Ooh. I thought you knew about it. No, but I do love my young adult crap. I thought you were gonna say we're back to Cookie Monster talk because I started to get a little Cookie Monster esque. Anyways, um, yeah, so it, I was going to say something about the key. Oh, it would have been funny if it was like one of those giant skeleton keys that are like, you know, those like that weigh a lot that people use for decoration. Yeah. You know, those big ones. I used to have one And of they those. just threw it and it was like, honk. <laughs> uh, you just, you want the accidental deaths in this movie. That's what you want. Yeah. I just feel that, the, well, mm, we're not going to get to it, but I feel that they're, I feel that one of them towards the end was I laughed my ass off at it, and it seemed like it was accidental to me. You mean not throwing a key at somebody? No. <laughs> it was a funny death. I laughed. I watched it over and over again. Okay. You kind of like. Was a, it the a, singing telegram? Yes. Yeah. That was a dark scene. Oh my God. I laughed my ass off. I watched it over and over again. 
you huh. know what? We we should see kind of like a, in Austin Powers where you get to see the henchmen going to work. I want for see, someone who hates those movies. You sure talk about them <laughs> the a lot. The first one was funny. It was passable, uh, and I've grown to enjoy it a lot more. Uh, but the, the uh, ones that followed were again Xeroxes after Xerox after Xerox. He just doesn't like Beyonce. No, I, I he don't just mind. doesn't. He doesn't like good writing. Is what he doesn't like. No, no, you're you're right. I I don't like good writing. You're I'm just not a correct. fan of. I found that over the years, and we're going off track. Yet, I found over the years that I'm just not a big fan of Mike Myers anymore. Mm. Like some of his stuff is just too yeah. much. Like too I just want Halloween him to slow I down. It. I get it. Oh my god! I knew that was coming. Oh, like a bri- <sighs> blind prostitute. <laughs> she gets it, and if you wait a little bit longer after a couple martinis, you'll get it. Hi yo. Ah, uh, anyway, I did like his Netflix thing, mm-hmm. his new Netflix thing, because it's like back to the old ways of Michael yeah. Myers. Michael Myers. Michael Myers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's his name. It That's is. His, That's his God-given name. <laughs> Why is. I went Irish there? Because he's Irish in some movies. Uh, no, that was uh, Scottish. Well, he has a we, Scottish we, brogue. We'll, we'll never talk about Angela's ashes except for these moments. So please enjoy it. Angela's asses. No. Oh, for the love of God. Forgive me, Father, I have sinned. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. It's from the movie. Oh, my God. Where are we? <laughs> the key? <laughs> Throwing the key the at the key motor. key, and now you have the, the messenger. The boaterist? The, the, motorist. the motorist. The boaterist. The boaterist. <laughs> I've come here to drive the boat. I'm the boaterist. The boaterist. So they <laughs> let the motorist in because his car broke down. Yes. And, uh... They lock him in the study. With what key? With, well, the, the house key. It's not the same key oh, as the cupboard I, key. I know. Real There's, quick. Yes? Real quick. Uh, what do you do when you find a boaterist dead? A boaterist dead. You give him a wake. <laughs> she gets it. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, please continue. Take the motors to the room, please. Oh, so basically, there's a key for every room? No, there's oh, a house key and the cupboard right. key. But which key was thrown out the window? The house key. Okay. So how did we lock him in another room then? They, they did that before he got it, before they threw the key. Because he, he locked the door and and, and Wadzer's like, oh, oh that's, that's right. right. He's like, don't you want to throw the key? That's right, that's like, right. He's like, you still want that? And they're like, yes! Yeah, 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 that's right. Okay, all right, so gotcha. So he threw the wrong key. That's right, okay. And, uh, I am so lost now. While the guests search the, ma- no, no, they decide to search the mansion in, in pairs. Yes. Uh, and, uh. With the matches. Yes. Which was funny because when he put the matches together, he purposely made one taller than the other. And that wasn't really explained. And why weren't they smart enough to see that one of them was up higher? Well, they uh, when they shot the scene, they had to choose the correct matches. So they they had to know oh, which match to take. So that take. was like an editing goof. Well, it wasn't really because it, it was... Like, if you're going to pick a high one, you think it's going to be long. You don't know if you're going to get the short one. Yeah, but when you do that, you're supposed to make them all the same length. And he purposely stuck one really high. He shouldn't have done that. But what you're saying is that was the only way of them knowing which one to get to match with their person is they so they easy. knew which one to... It was an easy way for them to do that, yeah. should have just had them marked or something somehow, but... Mm. But, yeah, they wanted to show them picking and finding each yeah. other and, and that kind of thing, so... <clears throat> so they needed to find their match. <laughs> <laughs> I liked when what's his name came up to Mrs. Beacock because they both had the really small ones and like that was Professor Plum, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And he like hit it and then and she was just like this and I think it was either her what I think it was her or him. They just like dropped it like ah forget it and he's like I'm with you Missy or because honey it's you and me honey yeah, you and bunch me, honey, bunny, bunch and then he, he just threw his match on the floor like oh god. <clears throat> the, the, the thing about that is when uh when uh Colonel Mustard matched with Miss Peacock, she she sighed and I'm like, that's all she, not Peacock, uh, Miss Scarlet. Yeah. And that's like that's all she kinda does throughout this movie when she's not actually doing a scene. Yeah. She's just like <sighs> Yeah. She just doesn't want to be there. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know, there's just some things about Leslie Ann Warren's character that did that and I was like, Oh, 
you're, you're better you're than annoying, this. You're annoying, yeah. You're better than this. You're, you were so great in the opening. Yeah. And you're just like, I gotta be a hard ass. Mm-hmm. So they, uh, as they search the mansion, uh, an unknown individual burns the blackmail evidence in the fire. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, also unlocks the cupboard and kills the motorist with the wrench. Found the key to the cupboard. Yeah. Uh, discovering a secret passage, Colonel Mustard and Miss Scarlet find themselves locked in the study with the motorist uh, until Yvette shoots the door open with the revolver and shoots Colonel Mustard in the arm <laughs> at the same time. Which is another great Martin Mull thing because he comes out and starts yelling and then, <laughs> and then the chandelier falls, mm-hmm. scares him half to death. Right then, the police officer comes after they're all frazzled from the chandelier falling. Uh, he's investigating the abandoned car and see, asked if the motorist came here. Uh, the mansion receives, or he comes in and they lock him in the library. Yes, the library. And uh, while he's locked in there, the phone rings. And on the other end is J. Edgar Hoover, the head of the FBI. Mm. And it was not Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio. What mm. a great movie. It really yes, was. it really was. And I didn't even know anything about him. I learned a lot. Well, Leonardo DiCaprio is an actor. Yes, he is. Yes, yes. he's been movie. he's been around for quite a while. Now. Yeah. yeah, it was a good yeah. movie. Good I times. recommend that you see a couple of the movies. Okay, we'll do. Okay. I'll do. And Growing Pains. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that adopted kid. Stay away from back basketball Luke. diaries. Get out of here. What? He bounces back well though. Nope. No. Okay. <clears throat> no, he wasn't in that one. How do you know? Hmm? How do you nope? How was, do what? what? Now, did we hear the phone conversation? We don't know who played Hoover on the other. Right? No, it was just it was just a the one sided conversation. Oh, that should have been how you guys do that voice. <laughs> <laughs> we need to speak to the head of the house. Here. I am Jacob Hoover, and I need to talk to someone. Well, um, unfortunately, Mister Hoover, uh, I, I I I can't I can't do that right now, sir. What do you mean you can't do that? I need to talk to someone right now. I need to talk to the head of the household. Okay, well, you can talk to me right now, but I, I tell you, I, I can't find the head of the household. Who are you, and why are you answering the phone, though, if you don't know where the head of the household is? No, no, no. Who's uh, the guy who works for the psychiatrist? That's who, who he is. He works for who? I am a chief of police, and I'm in the library. What psychiatrist? Who are you talking about? Well, that's between me and my, my, my uh, representative for my union. Thank you very much. I'm not allowed to tell you about that. What union? What is, ha- what is happening? I need to talk to the head of the household right now. Why did you go full Asian on me? <laughs> <laughs> because I lost, my, I lost my newsreel voice. <laughs> well, sir. Uh, this goes back to the cook. Uh, exactly. <clears throat> uh, you broke. It's <laughs> off. The cook came back to life. I need to uh, talk to the cook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, unfortunately, this joke is lame. Uh all right, so Jay Hood, Jay 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 Ho- Hoover, Jay Ga- J- <laughs> Edgar Hoover's on the phone. Jay Edgar Hoover, he's on the telly. He's on the telephone. Speaking of poison, that is one. That is one of the weapons in Clue Master Detective. It is yes. poison. Is in Master Detective. This episode brought to you by Hasbro's Clue Master Detective. Parker Brothers. Parker Brothers Master Detective. Pick it up. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where you can pick it up because there's no Toys R Us anymore, but get it. Aww. I thought Sorry, you were just—I thought you were just auditioning for a ska band. <laughs> pick it up, pick it up, <laughs> pick it up, <laughs> Madam Rose. <laughs> pick it up, Miss Peach. <laughs> <Pick it up. laughs> That's funny. <laughs> 1996 <laughs> joke coming time. at you. This is the last time I have fucking <laughs> coffee, which I don't drink before a podcast. I was wondering what happened. Pick it up, Miss Peach. Pick it up, pick it up. <laughs> the guy, the guy from Mighty Mighty Boss Tones. He just wait, wait, time out. So you know the guy from Mighty Mighty Boss Tones that yes. comes out just to, he doesn't do anything. He just dances yeah, and pipes he, up the track. So all he does throughout the whole song for Clue is he just starts whipping out the <laughs> the weapons. <laughs> and throwing him into the crowd, right? Oh, good. Yeah, well, you, you want to throw guns? Well, no, and... they're fake. Okay, they're plastic Have you ever props. Been close to tragedy. And whoever gets the one of the night gets a free something. I've been close to folks who have. You know that song's about AIDS. Yes, an AIDS test. You know? I know, but when you think about it in context of Clue, it actually kind of works. <laughs> no. Uh, mm-hmm. This is where we should take a break and play that song. Yeah. 
What song? Mind my boss tones. You can play like a little bit of it. You can play the trumpets. Trumpets. The trumpets. Anyway. Welcome to the Cinematis Podcast, for uh, we get uh, suggestions on what you want us to sing. Oh, yeah, there you go. Give, us a, like give, us, a, give us a subject, we'll mm. sing about it. Oh, yes. Oh, looking forward to it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, <laughs> got kind of sexy on that one. Oh, yes. Well, Where are we? Uh, we were... J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> we're still on Ho- Hoover. So, after... Di- <laughs> after distracting the police officer successfully... With the with the uh, with the dead people. You want a piece of candy, you little boy? You want a piece of candy? Go in the library. What? You What's know, going on? You know who should have played the cop? I don't know what that was, but you know who should have played the cop? <laughs> no. The guy who plays the cop in all these movies. Carl Winslow. Yes. <laughs> That's who I was missing. Is, is the guy who plays the cop in this film? Is it the same actor from a, um, a Christmas Vacation? Mister, that is some no old man. No, they look similar though, but no. No, he would be much older then. Yeah. Uh, this is the same guy that was in the um, he was in the uh the 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 the, the, the toast scene in Fletch. Where he uh, shows up yeah. and he's the guy. He's the guy that's oh, doing. Okay. He inter- he gets interrupted by Fletch. That's why he looks familiar. Familiar. Yep. Um, he's probably been in other things too, but mm. I only know him from F. Fletch. Fletch F. Fletch. Mm. Uh, so they 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 do this weird party scene with the dead people uh, yeah. to distract the cop to make him th- see that there's nothing shady going on, and uh, it's it's actually pretty funny how, especially Martin Mull when he's behind the cook and he's like, yeah, <laughs> it's like a weekend at Bernie's type thing. Yeah, yeah. but grosser. Yeah, because they're all like. I don't murdered. see anything yeah. wrong with this. Everyone's having a good time. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, Wadsworth's like, you have to go. He's like, no, nah, it's too late. I've seen everything. Yeah. You have? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a free country. I didn't think it was that free. <laughs> uh, oh, there's so many great lines. So many great lines. <laughs> Where like, he goes up to the, 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 the motorist and he's like, this guy's drunk, dead drunk. <laughs> and, yeah. and Leslie has words like dead right dead right <laughs> <laughs> yep you're not driving home no we'll get him a car a little black car <laughs> uh, some of the one liners just straight up my alley in terms like the uh, the dry humor and the one off uh, jokes that aren't ever expanded on um, it's very very much like uh, Mel Brooks in terms of their quick rapid um, delivery uh-huh. where just one after the other when you start to realize what joke was being told and the entendre and the double entendre and the intelligence of the joke you've already missed four jokes right it's like holy yeah. hell i can see that and i that surprises me why i think this movie is funny and not too much because i don't like mel brooks movies and this is very um what's that other thing i don't like Slapstick. monty python oh. it's very monty, P- yeah. monty python-esque but this is just enough to where it's not over the top for me. Like, I'm not like, okay, enough is enough. So it's not like you're talking to me. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it makes sense. I mean, you have you have um, Michael McKeon from the Christopher Guest movies mm-hmm. And, mm-hmm. and Spinal Tap. And you have Madeline Kahn from the Mel Brooks movies. Mm-hmm. And um, you have Martin. Christopher Lloyd and Martin Mull and Tim Curry. And they're all, they all have sharp wit. Yeah. Uh, reactions to everything, and they're actors. Well, yeah, because they all they're have thespian thespian backgrounds. Yeah, um, they they all have improv uh, backgrounds, and they're all very quick witted and uh, on their feet, and they have a lot of years of experience just with the cast, and that's one thing that makes it so enjoyable, um, even though it may not be widely widely uh, appreciated as it probably could be. I'm not saying it should be because it's not everyone's cup of tea and, and we can break it break it apart later, but uh, the cast is just so solid and just so funny. And the different types of comedy that they all come from is very unique that makes it stand out. Uh, and, um, yeah, it, it just is a very deep, funny movie. And even if you were giving me the script, I would laugh at the script now, even though I've watched Clue 50 times. Yeah, I would love to see this on a stage. Yeah, it's called Rumors with Neil uh, Neil uh, um, Simon. No, yeah, it is Neil Simon. No, I'm talking yeah. about Clue though. I mean, there's there's a difference. I mean, you could say you could say I want to see I want to see uh, 
ten little Indians on a stage. And it's the same thing, except not as funny. And then there were none. Yes, that too. You know that's one of my favorite films. Okay. Shame that's on one of my favorite books. Really? That's one of my favorite plays. That we read in the in, in school. In the school. <laughs> in the school. <clears throat> in the schools. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> Miss Goosey. Miss Goosey School. Miss Goosey. So while the cop is uh is he's distracted, he goes back and uh makes his phone call and the power goes out. Mm. While the power goes out, the cop is killed. They should have lit that candlestick. There's no candle in the stick. They should have found one. <laughs> uh, and also, Yvette is killed. Dun, dun, dun. By your favorite weapon. The candlestick. The no. rope. Yes. She was killed instantly <laughs> with the rope. No. And they, they and, and the voice that was talking to her, uh, obviously we find out it's actually Miss Scarlet, but they made the... The voice sound more so androgynous you couldn't tell who was really killing her. Close the door. Hmm. Did they recognize you? No. No, they did not. You're the wrong person. Oh, please send it a vet. <laughs> <laughs> Due to modern times, you cannot say that to me anymore. Say what anymore? Exactly. She's evolved. Your turn. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm Yvette, damn it. I'm Yvette. You're not Yvette. I'm Yvette. <clears throat> I'm Spartacus. I'm Babette. You need Babette's to stop dead. because it's the Antissa. Patient. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Random yeah. Tim Curry. Yeah, uh, Rocky Horror. Exactly. Mm. I would pay. I would pay. I will pay you. I am not a big that fan Rocky of Horror. that. That fan of that. Yeah. No, you're not a fan of Congo? I, I like oh, drop drink. Congo. I like drop drink. Stop eating oh. my sesame cake. Oh my God, this again. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> Kafka! Was, Who is it? Kafka! Is Tell he, me! Is he, in, is he in Congo? Oh, yeah. Some oh, curry? Okay. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Well, you know, I'm not going to watch that because we know why. General, please. <laughs> Get on your knees and tell me you love me. We love you! What? I'm having a curry gasm. What? That's fine. Okay. Anyways. Just clean it up. Oh. How? Curry Man. starts to stink after a while. Well, <laughs> it'll just flake off. Anyways. You know what my first Tim Curry movie was? What? The Worst Witch. Which one? Who? You've never seen The Worst Witch? Which one? Hocus Pocus? No, it's called The Worst Witch. I know. Oh. Which one? Wow, you're a, you, you, you had me fooled. We both are doing it. Well, yeah. yeah, but he's got a goofy smile on I, his face. I don't know what The Worst Witch is, but I knew that that was the name of the movie. The Worst Witch was it was a made-for-HBO movie back in like 1984, mm -hmm. or 83, 84, and he played the king of the witches. And it was about... Oh. It was pre Harry Potter School of Witches. Kind of sounds like The Witches that they redid recently mm. on HBO. That was garbage with uh -huh. Anne Hathaway. That actually, I didn't like it. it. You know that you've seen the original. Yeah, Isn't that's that creepy the ass. Yeah, yeah, with uh, Morticia. Yeah. What's her face in it? it Angelica it, Houston. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not like the remake. Oh, I, I it was scary. It, it was scary, but it it was very. Yeah, I liked it. Okay. Yeah, it, was mice. A, it was a really disturbing 1990 it, movie. It was. It was. Uh -huh. All right. Worst Witch. Which one? Uh, I think the Worst Witch is um, the, the, the middle Sanderson sister from Hocus Pocus, the one that rides the vacuum. She's an idiot. Horseface? Yeah. What's she's lost name? a lot. Kathy no. Jimmy. Oh, no. S S J SJP? No. No. She's the youngest. Okay. Yeah. A muck, a muck, a muck, a muck. Anyways, okay. I hate Hocus Pocus. Yeah, we know, we know, yes. we know, we know. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. Oh, so you're gonna watch the new one? I'm gonna have Gabriel come over to my house and we can watch it. I will have to detox my kid semantically. <laughs> hey, All Gabe, right. Gabe, hey, so just step into this ominous room where a bunch of like smoke clouds are going to hit you and you're going to turn around. We need to try to sanitize you from all that Hocus Pocus. Give me Pocus. a break. No, if if Auntie Allison wants to hang out with her her nephew, go for it. I'm just yeah, thinking I'm okay. Super Troopers. It's powdered sugar. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> the 
Rice, heat, sugar. It's delicious. Can I go now? <laughs> God, I love that movie. <laughs> Uh, good humor, just like with Clue. So let's continue the humorous train. <laughs> yes. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to always celebrate cinema. I got an outline ready to go. You don't know what it's gonna say, and I'm letting you know. I oh, bet you whoa, I can oh, guess, because it's the same every time. But I'm bum bum. You killed the song. Because it's no fun to hear you talk like uh. this. I'm glad I, I'm keeping that. <laughs> All right.